Number two on Hollywood now. Looks like Paragon is going to be defending anyway. Whoop, door closed on me. Hello? Anyone out there? Actually, pull out a little higher here. Okay, so map number two is going to be played here on Hollywood. Thanks again to everyone joining us here for the Good Studio Tournament. EU's last stand. The beta is going away tomorrow. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the defensive setup here for Paragon. They've got that Farrah Mercy combo. Reinhardt, as you'd expect to see. Zarya as the second tank. Symmetra as the second support. Uh, yes, let me see if I can get a bracket link. I will work on that here for you. Alright, so I'm getting ready to start the timer here so that I have an accurate time to give to the players once a checkpoint is reached. Five, four, three, two, one, and begin! All right, stopwatch has been activated here. Oh, it looks like I didn't reset it, so remove eight seconds from whatever I said. Damn. <laughs> oh well. So let me pull the free cam back, actually. I forgot, we're just gonna leave it there. Sami is gonna be our attacking Farah here for warders to get us started. Leaping over that security room to try and get some damage in, but is met very quickly by Sita, the defending Farah. Sami and Sita, a duel for the ages. Last time Paragon did get the better of Warders. We'll see if they're going to be able to reverse that trend here. Just pot shots being taken by both sides. There's a direct rocket hit. Mercy not healing up the defensive Farah just yet. There he goes. We're actually going to take someone else's view. The attackers are getting killed off pretty quickly here, and I'm not sure what is causing it. Looks like defense does have a very good choke hold on the SUV position there. Barrage is available now for Sami. Will he try and use it to take out that enemy Pharah and regain sky control for his team? It can be difficult to point a barrage at a Pharah when they have boosts available as well as the ability to just stop floating and fall back to the ground. Alright, so back on to Enzuru here with Genji on the attacking team see what he's able to accomplish. I hear a defensive barrage coming down and it looks like the entire defensive team is still standing while the attacking team is going to have to try and make something work here. Let's switch over to Sami I suppose once again with that barrage available. Could be a big one. Paragon did win the first map King's Row. They set a time of 9 minutes, 2 seconds and the uh, team Warders was just barely unable to complete the map at all so Paragon was the definitive winner. Oh, there's that offensive Zarya ult. Let's go ahead and take his POV. Looks like some damage did get done. Mercy bringing up some players for the offense to try and keep this push moving. Looks like defense does still have quite a lot of players at the front line, but they did lose a Reaper and a Mercy, so this could be the opportunity that Warders are looking for to try and take capture point A here. High-powered Zarya just lobbing bombs at the moment, trying to hit whatever she can. Being played by Inzi. Or Inzi. Defensive Reinhardt ult coming down does manage to scoop a couple of players. Zarya just pops her ult and catches the attacking Zarya. Now attacking Zarya has her ult, but she goes down as well. Sami, once again on Farah, out alone here in the world, just looking for that good potential area to use Barrage try and take down several members of the defending team. Defending team has not done any switches yet, neither has the attacking team. Actually, Enzuru is switching onto Reaper now. I have a feeling it's going to be much better for them. Juzuka on defensive Reaper, taking him out before I could even see what happened. Aneki on the attacking Lucio, uh, out in no man's land here, behind enemy lines, looking 
for uh, basically just to stay alive, I suppose, until he can get back to his team and provide that sound barrier. Oh, there's the teleporter that he was uh, looking for. We'll see if he can take it out while Reinhardt's swinging a hammer at him. He should be able to with that extended range. Only 38 health less on Lucio. Yeah, I was going to say, you have a heal, dude. Might want to switch over. Uh, so the teleporter is going to go down here. Juzuka on Reaper trying to keep Lucio away from his team, though, is actually costing Warders potentially a lot of time. Switching back over to the point now, I did hear a hammer down. It looks like McCree was taken out, so it was that defensive Reaper, or sorry, defensive Reinhardt actually doing the work there. But three attacking members still standing. Juzuka runs back in on defense. I'm going to go ahead and take his view. He has Death Blossom available. He shifts out of the... Oh, actually, no, that was his teammate's old. Die, die, die comes out. That Death Blossom kills off two of the attacking members, so that is a big one. Mercy is nearby, though, to resurrect. We're going to go ahead and take the overhead view just so we can catch all these ults going off. We've got our offensive Reinhardt and Lucio ult trying to clean up the point now. Mercy keeping Lazy up, though, doing a good job on defense. Froggy with that high parrot Zarya beam torching down the attacking members. Lucio and Reinhardt are down now. Let's go ahead and switch to Sami. He has Barrage available, but he's fighting here inside this house, cafe, whatever you want to call it. And he goes down as well. Zexy being finished off there by Lazy on defense. Lotus is back to the front lines here. We've got Lucio trying to build his ult again. We've got Enzru back on Genji off of Reaper trying to sneak around and get some damage in. But Farah's waiting for him there around the backside of capture point A. Not going to be able to get much done there. Five seconds left of pull out to the overhead view just in time to see the defensive Reinhardt ult take out Sami. The attackers are standing on the point. They are contesting that defensive Zarya ult, though, is probably going to be the last thing needed here for defense to finish up. Yes, the entire attacking team is wiped, and Paragon successfully defends capture point A. Well done by Paragon. We're going to switch sides for the next round. Play of the game. Symmetra play of the game. Oh, right there at the end, she just void rays everybody down in the Zarya ult to do a quick cleanup along with her teammates. So there will be no time to beat this time around, as they did successfully defend capture point A. Okay, so we're going to use the Liquipedia link for our bracket. I'll go ahead and open Moobot here so we can have the brackets command. Okay, so brackets will now work. You guys in the chat can help people out when they ask about it. And now we're going to watch round two here on Hollywood and see if Paragon can successfully attack and be successful where Warders were not. Let's go a little bit higher up in the sky. There we go. Get a good view of everything. Who is this Lotus person? <laughs> uh, Lotus is playing for Warders. He is the EU Reinhardt Al. What's up, Demonstrate? Welcome, everybody. 32 viewers here for the first round, round of 16. Let me click that Liquipedia link myself, see what this looks like here. 600 bucks for first place. It is a winner-take-all tournament. It is actually a 20-team tournament. We had, or no, sorry, 18 teams, it looks like. I must have had a couple not show up. Okay, so my timer is not going to be necessary here can just reset that and reset the countdown as uh, Paragon again did successfully defend point A here. It looks like no Symmetra here for the defending side Paragon, or excuse me, Warders. They are going to go with the more tried and true composition. They've got the Fearsome Foursome, Lucio, Mercy, Reinhardt, and Farah, plus the two flex spots, Enzeru and Insi on Reaper and Zarya. We're going to watch Sita doing lots of work on Farah for Paragon throughout um, all of their tournament play so far, being damage jammed by UNPL. Enemy 
thank you for that note, Demonstrate. I will do so after this round. Defensive Zarya is not who I actually chose to <laughs> spectate. The camera hijack bug actually still happens even when you are spectating solo. And Sita actually gets taken out there, so sorry about that. A little bit distracted worrying about these brackets here, but we do have the attacking Reaper being played by Juzuka. He can hear that Pharah there. He does turn in time to actually get a few shots off, but one more splash from a Pharah rocket will take him out, of course. Knew that was coming. Played enough Reaper in my day. We've got Sita on Pharah once again, looking for some free shots here. Does actually hit that direct rocket on Mercy. Try and go for these super long range Pharah snipes. Could actually happen if he manages to hit one more midair. Doing a very good job peeking over the corner here. That's dangerous stuff there as uh, Ferris floating is slightly unpredictable when you're just kind of gliding around on this rooftop. But something that Sita's making use of here that I actually haven't seen a ton of out of people yet is the fact that you can actually stay up on these sloped surfaces as Farah as long as you want. You have enough fuel actually to keep yourself up there forever. The attacking team here, I'm going to go ahead and take the overhead view. Just get a better picture here of how many people are alive on both sides. It looks like the attacking team is going to successfully capture point A. And if they do so, map 2 will actually go to Paragon very, very quickly. Defensive team, you can see all their silhouettes. No one really nearby now except for Lotus on Reinhardt. The pin doesn't go through. Sami actually above with Barrage does score a couple of kills. They are going to score the first two-thirds of the capture here for Paragon. Before the defense is able to return, there's now several members dead for the offense and defense. Both Zarioles going down in the same exact spot. They're just killing each other right next to each other, but Paragon does successfully capture the point, and that is going to be it.